Hello, my name is Nate Zeisler. I'm the Dean for Community Initiatives at the Colburn School. I also run the Career Development Program for students attending the College Conservatory of Music. Today, I'm going to talk about five steps to help solidify your career path. If you're like me, your journey through school trained you to think narrowly and deeply about the type of career that you'd like to pursue. Most schooling is rooted in specialization, which is fantastic. With that said, the 21st century is about taking that specialized knowledge that you've gained and applying it to the type of work that you'd like to pursue. In this particular video, I wanna focus on the skills that you need to have in order to be successful in the career field that you're pursuing. In other words, how do you gain a better understanding of the industry in which you'd like to work? For me, the most important aspect of establishing a thriving career in your chosen field is to read and be curious about what's happening within the field itself. This is an optimal time to do two things. Become an expert in that part of the field that you'd like to pursue, but also time for you to build skills that will make you competitive in the workforce. Here are a few suggested activities to get you started. Step one, find a trade magazine relevant to your chosen career path and read it every month for a year. The articles that are in trade magazines are often written by professionals working in the field. This can be a great way to learn more about the field and also gain insights about what's happening and trending within the work you'd like to be doing. Step two, identify some trade magazines that are of interest to you that are one step outside of your field. I often find it inspiring to read about work that's happening in adjacent fields to my own. And you may be surprised by just how many parallels there are between your field and this adjacent field that you're exploring. Three, identify at least one person who is actively working in your chosen field, ask to shadow them, and then take them out for coffee to pick their brains about their work. I suggest that you try the 50 cups of coffee method to give you clarity. It's a very simple method. That method is that you take at least 50 people in the field in which you'd like to belong out for coffee in the next six weeks. Now, given the fact that we're in a global pandemic, taking somebody out for coffee is gonna be a little difficult, but in some ways this makes your life a little easier because you're one Zoom call away from a 15 to 20 minute discussion with somebody who might hold the keys to unlocking that next step in your life or career. The fourth suggestion is that you set up a series of Google alerts around your topic of interest. Google alerts are very simple to set up, takes about five minutes, and it often is a way to track trends in your chosen profession. Step five is to pick a social media platform and follow the big thinkers, organizations and companies who are doing work in your chosen profession. The platform that I use for this work is Twitter. Twitter allows me to make lists and easily follow the people who I think are doing the best work in my field. Take 15 to 20 minutes to work through the activities I've listed in this video. Remember, your goal here is to take this incredibly specialized knowledge that you hold and be able to apply it to the context within the field that you'd like to pursue. If you can do that, I think you'll find yourself well on the path to a successful career. Thanks so much for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day.